Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video, we'll be rounding off decimal numbers. And like I explained in the previous videos, all around the world, we use two different decimal separators. We use the decimal comma and the decimal point. So it depends on where you're from, which type of decimal separator you will use. Because I was born and raised in South Africa, I use the decimal comma. That doesn't change any other rules. It doesn't change anything else except for the fact that I use a comma where you may use a point. But at the end of this video, I include two different worksheets. One where you use a decimal comma, the other way you use a decimal point. But just for the sake of this video and to keep it short, I'm just going to use a decimal comma, but all the rules are the same. So let's get started with today's video. So before we jump into decimal numbers, let's just quickly have a look at what we already know. So when I have this number, 452, and I ask you to round it off to the nearest hundreds, first you make sure which one of those decimals are in the hundreds place value. So the four is in the hundreds place value. So you know when you're rounding off this number to the nearest hundreds, you're going to either round it up to 500 or round it down to 400. And all of that depends on the digit in the place value to the right of the hundreds, the tens. So whichever digit is in the tens place value is going to determine if 452 is going to be rounded up to 500 or down to 400. So let's just recap that rule. How do I know if it's going to round up or down? If we have 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 in the tens place value, the hundreds is going to round up. But if we have a 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 in the tens place value, the hundreds is going to round down to 400. So now you need to decide, is it going to round up or down? Well, 5 is going to make the hundreds round up. And the last thing you might be able to remember is when we round off, we don't use a usual equal sign. But because we are rounding off and it's an estimate, we use this curvy equal sign. So 452 rounded off to the nearest hundreds is 500. And now that we've recapped that, let's move on to our decimal numbers. So for the first question, we need to round off the decimal number to the nearest whole number. So here is our first decimal number. So we need to round off 62,873 to the nearest whole number. So the first thing we do is we look at the place values. And to round off to the nearest whole number, we're going to look at the ones. So we know that 62,873 is either going to round up to 63 or round down to 62. And to determine if it rounds up or down, we're going to look at the digit in the place value to the right of the ones. In this case, the 8 in the tens place value. And the 8 is bigger than 5, so the 8 is going to round 62,873 up to 63. But before you write that, remember your curvy equal sign. And then 62,873 to the nearest whole number is 63. In the next question, you need to round off the decimal number to the nearest tenths. So here's our decimal number. We have 52,34. And we need to round it off to the nearest tenths. So we get our place values. And then the 3 is in the tenths place value. So it's either going to round up to 52,4 or round down to 52,3. And we determine that by using the digits in the place value to the right. In this case, the 4 in the hundreds place value. 
So 4 is smaller than 5. So 4 is going to round 52,34 down. And remember your curvy equal sign. And then we round 52,34 down to 52,3. In the next question, you need to round off the decimal number to the nearest hundreds. So here's our decimal number and we need to round off 48,626 to the nearest hundreds. So we get our place values and you know that you need to round off to the nearest hundreds. So we're either going to round up to 48,63 or we're going to round down to 48,62. And we use the digit in the thousands place value to determine if this decimal number is going to round up or down. So in the thousands place value, we have six. Six is bigger than five, so six is going to round 48,626 up to 48,63. So remember your curvy equal sign and then you answer 48,63. And for this question, you need to round off to the nearest thousands. So we have 96,4583 and we need to round this off to the nearest thousands. So we have our place values and we have to round it off to the nearest thousands. So we are either going to round it up to 96,459 or we're going to round it down to 96,458. And to determine if we're going to round it up or down, we look at the digit to the right in the millionth place value, and that is the three. So three is smaller than five, so three is going to round 96,4583 down to 96,458. So we have our curvy equal sign and our answer 96,458. So now let's look at this question. It's the same question. We're going to round off to the nearest thousands, but it's a bit more tricky. So we have 32,3296, and we need to round off this decimal number to the nearest thousands. So let's have a look at our place values so we know that the nine is in the thousands place value. So we can either round 32,3296 up or down. But let's have a look at that. If we need to round 32,3296 up, 9 is already the biggest digit we have. We don't have anything larger than a 9. But if we move on to 10, we're going to add that 0 in the thousands place value and the one for the 10 carries over to the hundreds place value. So the two becomes a three. So when we round up, it's going to be 32,330. And when we round down, it's going to be 32,329. Now let's have a look if this decimal number is going to round up or down. So we look at the digit to the right, in this case in the millionth place value, and there we have a 6. 6 is bigger than 5, so 6 is going to make this decimal number round up to the nearest thousands. So for our answer, we write down that curvy equal sign, and then we have our answer for 32,330. And just for a quick observation, you can see that I add the zero in the thousands place value because the question states to round off to the nearest thousands, I'm going to write my decimal number up until the thousands place value, even though 32,33 is exactly the same as 32,330. I just include that zero to indicate the thousands place value because you had to round off to the nearest thousands. So that was the end of this video. And like in every other video, there is a worksheet with a memo in the description box below. There's a worksheet for if you work with a decimal comma and a worksheet for if you work with a decimal point. Just go and make sure you download the correct worksheet and memo.
And if you haven't already and this video helped you, remember to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel and then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.